Well, hello, fellas. Uh, it's good to be here this morning and, and good to introduce myself to you all. My name is Bob Wurzler, uh, co-founder of Tower Industries. And I'm happy to say that uh, I had probably the best partner anyone could, could have uh, ever asked for or dreamed of. A little over 10 years ago, I used to purchase product from Tower Industries in a previous job. Uh, I met Todd Wurstler because when I, he was the only salesperson at the time. And uh, he created a position for me. Uh, and I remember sitting in the interview at that time and saying, your company's going somewhere and I want to go. How I got my job here is basically my brother Travis works in casting and molding, but that's, that's not it. It's about why I wanted to work for Tower. I've seen my brother, I've talked to him, he's had great success here. I've, I've heard nothing but great stories about this place and it sounded like a place where I actually really wanted to be and pretty much start my life and career. Everybody here works really hard and really passionately with uh, what they're doing and we do the best we can to give them the most timely and uh, professional products. Um, what makes Tower Industries different? Um, the core principles that, uh, that Tower um, has are we do what we say we're going to do when we say we're going to do it for the price we said we would do it for. I believe Todd came up with that after a lot of discussion. We, we know that uh, a lot of people are disappointed because they are promised things uh, no doubt mainly a lot in, in construction. They're promised and then no one, there's no return. It's more about the customers. It's more about um, providing that great service. And uh, I think in this time, there's not always a lot of companies that have that. I happened to lose a job. I was laid off at a, at a local company. and. Todd knew of my work ethic from a company I used to work at, and he gave me a shot, and I, I just seized the opportunity and ran with it. What I would tell my kids about Tower Industries would be that uh, if if you got a dream, you know, go with it. It's uh, not always going to be easy, but when you start from the bottom and you build up, you have appreciation for what you've done. And that's what we have here. It's a business that started small and now we're big and we're striving. And you just gotta appreciate that. They've shown me that hard work pays off. Uh, I've started at the bottom and worked my way up to lead programmer and I, uh, I enjoy doing that. This place showcases just about every single element you could ever think of or would want in a workplace. You got everyone working together, you got a bunch of hard work, everyone's determined, focused on what they're working to make sure that we have the perfect product to showcase for our customers. We have a team of dedicated professionals at every phase of your project that really care about you getting a, pro a quality product installed um, from the uh, template people to the office staff to the um, fabricators. Everyone really tries their very hardest to um, have a beautiful end product for the customer and a very positive experience. I think Tower Industries is a great place to work because of the people that are here. Um, I remember on my very first day how welcome I was made to feel just because of how uh, nice and friendly everyone really was. And also uh, just how everyone's willing to uh, help you out whether it's to answer questions or to pitch in on some type of project that's taking place and I think that really builds a great working environment. Um, yeah, I just I really have to say the people. There's uh, very few places that you can work that you, know, you can come in, you know, do a job efficiently and still at the same time, you know, be able to laugh and, you know, have jokes and uh, really makes your day fly by when you can have a good time and still be able to get your work done. Um, Todd, you work very hard for us. I know you put in the hours way more than what all of us do, 80, 100 hours a week out chasing down work and we do appreciate what you do for us to keep us working. I, uh, I was hired in in March, March 16th of 99. Uh, I remember I came for an interview on a Sunday morning after working midnights for a temp company and started 
on Monday morning in the Fab Shop? I think uh, Tower is different in the fact that we have, um, we're a one-stop shop amongst countertop places. You can basically go into our showroom and you can pick out quartz, granite, or solid surface. And it's done, everything's done right in our plant here with our own installers and um, everything comes out of Maslin, Ohio. I think that's what makes Tower different. What have I learned during my employment here at Tower Industries? I learned a lot. Uh, a couple of the items that I use every day is before I came to Tower Industries, I had no idea what the difference between culture marble, solid surface, and uh, fiberglass was. Having a hands-on experience you, and, and just basically an overall uh, personal touch when we do what we do as far as installation and taking care of our customers. I don't know if anybody has ever production planned with Todd, but he says, oh, don't worry about it. That just, that just takes a couple minutes. Don't worry about it. So uh, he's wrong every time, for the record. That never happens. It always takes more than just a few minutes. Uh, actually, when I came in to interview, they had run out of power. They had no power. So it was very, very hot in here in the middle of June. Um, but I must have done good because I got the job and five years later now I am the bookkeeper. I had been working up overhead running some lines and, and who knows what all needed to be done because it was a totally empty building uh, to, uh, when we moved in. But Todd was fabricating a, a uh, countertop, kitchen countertop and he said, Dad, he said, come here, help me. <laughs> uh, he said, this glue is going to dry and I'm not going to have this top put together right. And I ran over to help him and hold it and my pants fell down. I lost so much weight that uh, my pants fell down. I couldn't do anything, couldn't move other than hold that piece of, of uh, meridian together. And so we've, lost, we've laughed about that quite a few times. What I've learned from Todd Wurstler, one important thing was he will never turn down a good deal. If he happens to be going through McDonald's and he had a buy one, get one free coupon, he, for whatever reason, would bring me his free, free leftover or his free leftover pie or sandwich or whatever and uh, bring it to me. And um, whenever I'm having a rough day, it just seems like that little bit of gratitude um, goes a long, day, long ways and would make the day go a little smoother. The moment I remember most about Todd, the moment I'll never forget is I was pulled up beside a guy on a Harley Davidson and I told him I'd trade him the company truck and trailer for his motorcycle and he said hell no and I didn't know why until I found out it was Todd's uncle. I worked with him once down in Columbus with his mother-in-laws and we had a long day of work and he had brought us some food and it was Chipotle. And it was the first time I ever ate Chipotle. Thanks, Todd, for bringing that to me. Now I can't stop eating Chipotle. I was going through the questions, and one of the questions I saw was, what's my best moment with you? Uh, I'll never forget, it's burned in my memory. Uh, the day that you shot the moon. Uh, it was my intent to return a favor today, but my wife talked me out of it. Uh, but there'll be a day. The Todd Worcester moment that I'll never forget is the first year I worked here we went to the Christmas party and me and my wife were the last ones here so we ended up sitting at the boss's table and Todd was talking about all the years all the miles that he puts in and my wife promptly asked him if he was a member of the Mile High Club and all I could think of is yeah I might as well go in on Monday and clean up my locker but he bust out laughing and said no but not for lack of trying. Actually, my favorite Todd Wurstler moment is uh, very early on in, uh, in my employment here. I specifically remember that he used to sit in the conference room and he would pound on the table and say, we are not a 501c3. Well, uh, Todd Wurstler uh, cracked me up one time. We were doing a truck down and uh, unloading a truck for OSU. And uh, the guys commented something about me being the hardest working guy they'd ever seen. I said, well, Wurstler works me like two 30-year-olds, and about that time he came around the corner and he said, hell no, he says, I work you like three 20-year-olds. About wow. three years in, we decided we wanted to have a sink chucking contest. Obviously, I won, but uh, yeah, we threw some, uh, some bad sinks across the shop, and that was a blast. 
uh, what Todd Wurstler moment will I never forget? Uh, probably the time uh, me, him, and Bob got to play golf at uh, the Scarlet and Gray course in Columbus. Uh, that was a good time. Thank you. You have been you have been the heartbeat of Tower, and uh, without you, we I know that it would never be where it is now. We depend on you, and uh, just want you to know how much we care about you. Not only you, but your family, and and hope that you'll continue to to stay with Tower and and help us grow. Oh, you know, can I start over again? I kind of mix that up. <laughs> what I think makes uh, Tower Industries a great place to work. Um... You can start over. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I have many. I don't know that I, any that I want to have on the video. <laughs> I don't know any that he would appreciate having on the video. Um. My most memorable, memorable, memorable moment. Can't even talk. Uh, yes. Sorry. I feel like I'm totally messing up here. Um, I don't know if I think I got that mixed up a little bit. <laughs> said no way. Not working down there. Not driving to Maslin every day. I meant to look at these questions last night, and I just I had so much schoolwork. I didn't even have time to think about these answers. Todd, I just want to congratulate you in 20 years. Uh, I appreciate that I've been a part of, of the success here, and uh, I wish you another 20 years. And uh, Todd, you've been more to an employer to me. You've been a friend and like a family. Good luck. Happy 20th anniversary. But thank you so much, guys and uh, girls. Your dedication is, is beyond par, above par. And uh, I, I thank you, and man, I love you.